In a previous tutorial, we created this schematic diagram for a full adder circuit. And in this tutorial, we want to simulate this circuit by creating the waveforms. So we're going to go to File, New, and then choose the university program. And then we want to import the inputs and outputs to this timing diagram. So we'll go to Edit, Insert, Insert Node or Bus, and then go to Road Finder, and List, and on the left hand side, it shows all the inputs and outputs. So you want to see all of them on the timing diagram. So we're going to select all of them. OK. And then we want to adjust this grid size. So we'll choose send set end time. And we will make it 8 microseconds. And the grid size, 1 microsecond. And then for the A, go to Edit, Value, Overwrite Clock. And then we're going to choose 8 micro for the B, edit, value, overwrite clock, this one is 4, and the C will be edit value over right clock 2 microseconds so what happened here is we have all the different combinations for the three inputs a b c that goes from 0 up to 7 in binary now we're ready to run the simulation so we choose run functional simulation and we have to save it and we're going to keep the same name as a schematic file and now it is compiling And here's the output. And you can verify this output against your truth table. So when A, B, and C are 0, 0, 0, the carry was 0 and the sum was 0. When A, B, C, 0, 0, 1, the carry was 0 and the sum was one and so on and here's your timing diagram for the full adder circuit